This was the obligatory public hearing before a constitutional amendment can go on the ballot, and the fifth time the Assembly Judiciary Committee has debated the issue. If approved by the voters, the amendment would create two new casinos in North Jersey, favor current operators of Atlantic City casinos to own them. The new casinos would have to be at least 72 miles from Atlantic City and involve at least a billion-dollar investment apiece. The idea is to save gaming and the revenue it kicks off to the state. This constitutional amendment will provide for two properties in the north where we'll be able to re regain our foothold in terms of gaming and get that taxable revenue back. Competition from neighboring states is strangling Atlantic City, where the casino tax is 8%. Part of the proposal is to tax North Jersey casinos at a high rate, perhaps 40 to 60%, and send a portion of that revenue back to Atlantic City. Critics say that tax rate needs to be set before the public can evaluate whether that stabilizes Atlantic City. If you don't have the money to do that, and you don't have the tax rate in mind, there's no way to estimate, therefore, how this bill will benefit Atlantic City and Atlantic County and, the, and South Jersey. So why rush? You have 150 days at least before the constitutional requirement says you have to vote on this? It will take a three-fifths majority in each house to get the measure on this November's ballot. What's the likelihood you're going to get that? I think it's absolutely successful. Why? Because I believe now that the uh, we'll have some Republican support. Uh, now that the administration has supported it, and this thing has been uh, with the whole advent of the Atlantic City problem in terms of uh, their, their ability to manage themselves, this is a piece of that puzzle. The people in the state of New Jersey are smart, and they're going to understand that building casinos in an oversaturated market is only going to do more harm to our state than good. We've seen literally revenues fall by the billions over the last four or five years. Uh, you know, people have, so to speak, voted with their feet. That's just a saturation of uh, gaming in the region, and uh, we have to do something to protect that revenue source. They have till August, but the Senate is scheduled to take up the North Jersey Casino Amendment a week from today. At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.